Now I'm just going to show you how to do a JBL magnesium test. Now magnesium is a very popular test done in saltwater aquariums. Um, raised magnesium levels up to like 1800 is often used for killing noxious algae. But in general, we don't want to run the levels so high. 12 or 1300 is considered a good level. If your magnesium level gets really high, you need to compensate by also having high levels of calcium and carbonate because the magnesium will quickly bond to your carbonates and your corals will stop growing if the magnesium level is too high. So it's better to run lower levels, 1300, and your corals will grow better because high magnesium will allow high KH but it will not be usable. Anyway, these are things well worth looking into. But assuming you want to do a magnesium test, the first thing you need to do is have already completed a calcium test. Um, I've already done that. And for the water that I tested, it was 340. So moving forward with how to do the um, magnesium test, um, the, once again, you can buy them individually or as a part of a pack like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put five mils of water into a test vial. So I'll just arrange that now. So here's the test vial. I'm just going to get five mils of water. This is the tank water here. Squirty squirt that in there. Then I need to get magnesium one, and I'm going to put in five drops, like this. One, two, three, four, five. Give that a shaky shake. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get magnesium two. I'm going to put in one drop at a time until I see the colour change. So this is a titration test, so I'm waiting for colour to change. It's not a colour metric test, so I'm not comparing a colour. I'm just waiting it to go from red to green. So if I just do that now, I'm going to go one drop, two drops. You should do one drop at a time. Three drops, four drops. Once again, you should do one drop at a time. Five, six. When you're doing it with two hands, it's much better. Seven. Eight. Nine. When you do it with two hands, you can make sure that the right drops go in and you don't get these little dummy drops like that. 10. Now see how it's changed to green now? That was a very dramatic change from red to green. So I think I said 10 drops then. And if I didn't, it doesn't really matter. But let's pretend it was 10 drops. And then what it's saying is that each drop is 120. So 10 times 120 is 1200. And then I have to take off what my calcium level was. So let's say that's 1200. And then I've got to minus the calcium level, which I think was 360. It doesn't matter if it's not. So that would be 840, which considering this is a fish only tank would be fine. But if it was a coral reef tank, I would be better off raising my magnesium level. And once again, when you raise your magnesium level, you want to do it slowly and carefully, preferably with a dosing pump. And you want to be aware of your pH, calcium and KH because um, your magnesium is a bonding agent and will affect these levels. So once again, 
Um, if you're serious about a reef tank, you should definitely check magnesium. It is a titration test. It is very easy to do and it must be done after you've done a calcium test. Anyway, if you've got any questions, put it on the bottom of this video. Otherwise, um, don't forget to subscribe.